Nice to meet you. My name is Tanimoto. So you're the famous Kenichi Shirahama. I've heard a lot about you. It's God! He's totally dreamy! Like a pop star! Oh man, I haven't got a prayer against this guy! Tanimoto says the drama club is short-handed for their next play, so he asked me if I'd like to play Juliet in Romeo and Juliet. I'm playing the part of Romeo. It's true! The two of them would be perfect together! He's only a freshman, but he's already the head of the drama club and a born leader. He gets good grades, and naturally the teachers are wild about him. But he never brags about it, and what's more, he tutors other students in his spare time. I think he's a little too perfect. He just can't be real. It's like Persian carpets. No matter how squeaky clean they seem to be, if you pound them hard enough, they're bound to show some dust. Do you think so? Hey, bro, when it comes to dirt, I'm an expert. This guy's suspicious. My sensor is tingling like crazy. And it's never wrong. <laughs> oh, come on, Kenichi, please cheer up. You know that I believe in you. Yeah, thanks, Izumi. No problem. People can be so mean, <gasps> can't they, Shirahama? Tanimoto! Oh my gosh, it's the famous prince Tanimoto! Um, what are you doing here? Sometimes it just isn't important how good your intentions really are. People are always going to misinterpret your actions, so it doesn't actually matter what the truth is. <laughs> but I want you to know I believe in you. When I first heard the rumors about the martial arts research club being beaten up, I was afraid you might have been the one who did it. But you're someone who knows where to draw the line. And what happened yesterday was just sick. <laughs> you know, everybody in school has this crazy idea that I'm some sort of Mr. Perfect student. Consequently, I don't have many friends. So I'd be really happy if you consider me as one from now on, Shirahama. Uh, sure, that sounds great. What was it? That look in his eyes. A sort of sadness. Shimmering like a faint light. and refuse thy name, or if thou wilt not be but sworn my love. Whoa! She's so awesome! That's wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Way to go. All the practice you've put in has really paid off. Congratulations, Mio. It's looking good. Really? But I think most of the credit has to go to your coaching. Damn it! She's right. With him as her leading man, her performance has definitely improved. Yeah! There's no way I can deny it! Those two are perfect together! Don't be an idiot. If you really can't stand the thought of them together, then take action! Go ahead and kick his butt from here to China. According to my records, he only has a C- in physical ability. It should be a snap! Would you just shut up? Oh, come on. Don't you know people are already referring to them as the perfect couple? We should strip him naked, paint him blue, and hang him upside down from the tower before things go too far. I said shut up! Tony Moto and I are friends, you hear me? Friends! If you don't cut it out, I'm gonna get mad! Ha! Fell for the old let's be friends dodge, huh? Man, you're such a sucker. Look at him. Natsu Tanimoto. No matter how you slice it, there's something wrong with that guy. Man, how Kisara does these days is train. Meanwhile, I gotta look for that big boob girl. Man, this is really starting to get old. You know what? You look really pretty without your glasses on, Miyu. Huh? Oh no, I don't think so. <gasps> I found her! You really should get rid of these geeky glasses and switch over to contact lenses. Huh? <laughs> no contact lenses! They just don't seem to work well with my eyes. Oh, I see. That was just amazing! Well, after all, I'm in the gymnastics club. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. They almost figured out she wears fake glasses. <laughs> I found her! Who would have guessed she was a student at my own school? Hey, Kisara! Looks like you owe me one. Did you find out where that stupid cow is hiding? Yeah, she turned out to be a student at our school. She was under my nose all this time. I've got to be more careful next time we meet. I didn't think another girl could be that good. 
anyway. This time, I won't hold back on that amateur. All the extra training I've done has made me way faster than she could ever be with that big wreck of her slowing her down! Yeah, we're finally gonna have some action! Wait, Kassar. We've received another communication from Hermit. Huh? Now what? What's he want this time? Oh, uh, well, you see, that stupid cow... <clears throat> rather, Mew Ferengi is off limits. You're not to touch her. Who does that guy think he is? I'll do what I want with her! Hold on. The way things are right now... You can tell Hermit from me that if he gets in my way, he's next! You got that? Don't you think we should stop her? After you. What's wrong? That was such a sad sigh. What about you? You sound down too. Oh, no, it's just everyone at school seems to have the wrong idea about me. You know what I mean? Oh, I wouldn't worry too much. All that nonsense is bound to blow over sooner or later. I sure hope so. The truth is, I can't seem to stop thinking about you. So, what about you? You must be pretty nervous about tomorrow's performance going well. That's part of it, I guess. But also, everybody else in Drama Club, well, they've got their families coming to watch them perform and cheer them on and stuff. But me, you know, Grandpa's gone south again on another trip, and I, I just started thinking. I'm gonna be all alone, just like I was during Parents' Day back in grade school. Wait a minute, you have me! Huh? I'll come to the show tomorrow, and I'll cheer for you as loud as three families could! Really? That'd be great! Thank you, Kanichi! But try not to cheer too loud during the performance so people can hear. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah! I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> You're sure? Miu said that? It's really none of my business, but I thought you'd want to know. I'm just passing the information along, so there you are. The Elder sure picks bad times to go out of town! <laughs> They'll be cute high school girls. That I mean, uh, I should go for Miu's sake. Very well. I think we should all be in attendance. <laughs> Welcome to the show! Come in and have a seat! Miss Ferengi's father? Huh? <sighs> yes, thank you so much for all your help with my daughter. This is her brother, and the lady's my wife. You know, you probably should have left your sword at home, Shiguri. Hey, at least it's in a bag, all right? Hi! My name is Apogee! It's a good thing we got here early. These are good seats. Everybody came. They're all here for me. I'm not gonna be alone today. Hey, Miyu, you ready? It's almost time. Ready! Wait a sec. Now that I think about it, I didn't see Kenichi out there. Hey! What are you doing still moping around here? Isn't the play supposed to start any minute now? To tell the truth? I'm not sure I can bear to watch it. It's just too much. What?! Seriously, man, you need to grow a pair. You promised her you'd be there, right? So get going. You know something? Turns out there's a big kissing scene in Romeo and Juliet. Reality check, loser. It's just a play. Ah, but I can't stand it. I wish they'd just cancel the stupid play and get it over with. Man, he's pathetic. Oh, stupid play, stupid kissing scene. <laughs> Listen. I'll let you guys take care of the Shimpaku Alliance wimps, but the cow is mine, you got it? Oh man, that's Kisara Nanjo, and it looks like they're heading for the school. But who's this cow they're talking about? <gasps> is she talking about Miu? No, got milk? Uh, so what are you gonna do, Kisara? You know that girl's in the middle of doing a play right now, don't you? How are you gonna get to her? So she's on stage, huh? That kind of appeals to me. I'll ruin her little acting debut and humiliate her right there in front of an audience. 
What? That's terrible. I've got to try and stop her somehow. That's so fast. <gasps> Nishima, where'd you come from? <laughs> hey, sneaking up on people is a major part of my skill set. Aren't you worried? This could spell big trouble for your beloved Shimpaku Alliance, you know. You can relax. I told the members to stand down until things blow over. I see. That's a relief. This is no time to stand down, but you can be in danger! Oh, hold on. This could be good for you. If this attack goes forward, Miyu's kissing scene won't come up and your worries are over. And your monster masters are sitting in the audience, so they'll be able to protect her and take care of Kisara. First of all, I don't understand why they cast that cow in the role of Juliet when there are so many other girls who could play it. I mean, where does it say in the script Juliet has to be a D-cup? Why is everyone so obsessed with that? It's not a talent. Uh-oh, someone's jealous. Shut up! Why would I be jealous of her? I'm sorry. Yeah, you're right. If I just leave well enough alone, the performance will be ruined so the kissing scene won't happen, and the masters will mop up Kisara and her thugs so no one will get hurt. All my problems will be solved. Besides, there's no way I can stop them all by myself. I've got no choice but to let them go. Ah! Now you're making sense. I was asked to play the part of Juliet. I think I'm losing my voice. I can't do it! Maybe I have no talent! You're better than Apache! Wait, is this a real dagger? Yes, it makes it more dramatic. Don't get too caught up in your character. Remember, technique is as important as passion. Right! That'd be great, Kenichi! But try not to cheer too loud during the performance so people can hear. Let's go. I know a good spot. We can watch the action in air-conditioned comfort. <laughs> not so fast, you guys! <laughs> If you clowns are planning on disrupting Miyu's performance, you gotta get past me first! If they do see thee, they will murder thee! Tell me by whose direction foundst thou out this place? By love that first did prompt me to inquire. He lent me counsel, and I lent him eyes. I am no pilot, yet wert thou as far as that vast shore washed with the farthest sea. Hey, I nice would adventure pretty. for such Shh. merchandise. This is a very impressive performance. This young man playing Romeo is simply amazing. He's not only completely committed to the emotional core of the role, but he's able to adjust his performance based on the audience's subtle reactions. He's young, but he's skilled. Hey. Aksame! Hey! Would you keep it down, please? But that damn Volcanichi hasn't shown up yet. I even saved a special seat for him. I understand. I know what you're going through, Kenichi. It's tough to be young. By and by, I come, nurse. Leave me now. Tomorrow I will send. Adieu, my love. <laughs> that move. That was the stepping method. That can't be part of the play. That boy's had some form of intensive martial arts training. Well, well. Looks like the Shinpaku Alliance's commander has come out to play. Get Come Stop right there! You're never gonna get past me! What? Is he stupid? He missed a perfect opportunity! Damn it! You'll pay for the other day! <laughs> Let them go. Well, I don't know what kind of training you've been going through, but you've definitely gotten a lot better. I've changed my mind. I'll take him on first, then I'll deal with that cow later. You'll be perfect as a warm-up. So what do you say, boyo? Let's see what you've got. Don't come any closer. I've told myself I'd never fight a woman. I'm not gonna change my principles because of you. What? What did you say? 
So you've resolved never to fight a woman. Do you think that makes you cool? Have you forgotten what I told you before? That kind of macho crap pisses me off! What's the matter? Is something wrong? Uh, the strap on my left shoe snapped off all of a sudden. Oh my goodness! Wait here, I'll go grab another pair from wardrobe. Oh, okay, thank you very much. I thought these shoes fit perfectly. That's so weird. These violent delights have violent ends and in their triumph die like fire and powder, which as they kiss consume. The sweetest honey is loathsome in his own deliciousness. This isn't good. I've never seen Kisara this angry before. That kid, he's as good as dead. What's wrong? Are you still too cool to fight a girl? Come on! So, are you finally ready to take me on? I told you no! There's no way I'm gonna fight you! Damn you! You punk! I'll kill you! You won't fight me because I'm a girl! How dare you say that?! Just look at her go. She never lets up, not even for a minute. She beat me. All right, that's enough for today. Yes, sir. Kisara, it almost looks like you've decided to give the guys a run for their money. Yes, sir. Huh? No matter what, I've resolved never to be bested by any man. When it comes to competing at Taekwondo, I'll bet someday I'm even gonna beat you, master. <laughs> I see. Then we'll have to have a match someday, huh? You bet. Amazing, Kisara. I mean, even though you're just a girl, you not only keep up with the boys' training program, but you manage to pack in a ton of extra practice as well. Oh, come on. Don't say it like that. I hate when people say things like you're just a girl or you're good for a woman. I want to be as strong as the boys, so I follow their training program. It's simple as that. Besides, when it comes to Taekwondo, I try not to think of myself as a man or a woman. <laughs> oh, come on. Get real. You're way too pretty to think like that, Kisara. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> And... begin! I can't lose. This guy hasn't practiced half as much as I have. I won't back down just because my opponent's a man! Oh no! The winner is Kisara Nanjo! Come on, man, you held back, right? Please tell me you let that girl beat you and she didn't really kick your ass. What? You could tell? Oh, man, I tried to hide it. <laughs> what the hell was I supposed to do? I mean, she's good, but she's just a girl. You can't take a match against a chick seriously. That'd just be sad. You bastard! It was a man. A man like you. Who destroyed all my self-respect and pride! <laughs> Blocked it.
and it still made my head spin. <laughs> I have to say you're a whole lot tougher than you look. Nobody else has ever lasted this long before. I can't take much more of this. Don't you just love street fighting? No protective equipment like gloves or helmets to get in the way, and no rules to hide behind so you can't cop out and say you lost on purpose! Come on, smart guy, let's see how long you can stay cool! Take this! It's over. Till you leave. I understand you have your pride. But I have my principles! Who is this kid? Man, he's dumb. Why doesn't he just shoot himself and save time? my way already. I know you're trying to save the show for that stupid cow of a girlfriend of yours, but get over it! I'm not just doing this for Miyu. I'm doing this for Tanimoto, too. I won't let you ruin the play for them! They've worked too hard for you to go and spoil it! <laughs> well, aren't you an old softy? You know, that kind of attitude might get you killed someday. Oh, yeah? Well, you're not getting through. Not over my dead body! <laughs> <laughs> 